Hello guys and welcome to a brand new camera comparison between the Xiaomi 12s and the Samsung Galaxy S22. These are two of the best compact phones in the market, so tell me in the comment section below which one do you think has a better audio and which one has better colors and better stabilization. Starting with some samples from their main cameras, but first let me clarify the testing process. All of the upcoming daylight pictures are taken in auto mode with AI and scene optimizer enabled on both phones, since they are on by default. When it comes to the quality of the pictures in daylight, they seem to be very similar. Both images in this case are very sharp and the dynamic range is on point. In some cases like here, if you look closely between the umbrellas you can see that the shadow areas are more visible on the S22, while they are darker on the Xiaomi 12s but I like the colors of the umbrellas more on the latter. Once again we have the same results even in this case. Some parts of the picture on the S22 are brighter, while they aren't as refined on the Xiaomi, even though itself this device is doing very well. The 12S however was very good in most of the cases, and in some shots like here, it matches the quality of the S22, and overall, I have no complaints with the main cameras of these phones. They are also equipped with ultra-wide cameras, and here the S22 is doing a slightly better job, since the ultra-wide camera of this phone retains the same vibrant colors of its main camera. The 12S is slightly darker now, and even though it is good, it isn't at the quality of the S22. Even with their ultra-wide cameras, it seems like the S22 is a little bit better on highlighting darker areas, and even though the difference isn't huge, it is there. Dynamic range, however, is amazing on both phones, since they both manage to preserve the clouds perfectly, and the only difference seems to be in color calibration. The S22 is more vibrant, while the Xiaomi 12s is more on the natural side. The S22 is brighter in almost every scene, but a brighter picture doesn't always mean a better picture. And here, overall, I prefer the picture taken with the Xiaomi 12s, because it has more natural colors. The Galaxy S22 is also equipped with a 3x optical zoom telephoto camera, while the Xiaomi 12s uses digital zoom, and here surprisingly they look very similar. The S22 is actually better, but the 12s isn't bad either. Once again the S22 is doing a better job, but Xiaomi is holding its own very well, and here they do almost have identical colors. I was really surprised how good the Xiaomi 12s is doing at 3x digital zoom. Pictures taken with it are almost just as good as the ones taken with the 3x optical zoom from the S22. The third camera on the Xiaomi 12s is a macro lens, and it does actually take good macro pictures. The S22 doesn't have a macro camera or a macro mode, so this is the closest I could take the picture without losing focus. When zooming in with the telephoto camera of the S22 however, you can see it matches the same distance of the macro camera of the Xiaomi 12s, and it actually is even sharper compared to that device. This just shows that having a macro camera is always there just for numbers, since you can take better close-up shots with a telephoto or ultra-wide cameras. Both these devices take portrait shots with their main cameras, and both are really good at it. They are doing an excellent job with edge detection, and her face is sharp on both pictures. The S22, however, can also take portraits with its telephoto camera. The 12S, on the other hand, doesn't allow to zoom in while taking the portrait, and if we crop in the image matching the one taken with the S22, you can see the Xiaomi 12S isn't as sharp as Samsung. Also, her hair color is more accurate on the S22, while on the Xiaomi 12s it is a little darker. Switching to the front cameras, and even though my face is brighter on the Xiaomi 12s, the background is blown a little, while the S22 managed to take a detailed picture without blowing the objects in the background. My face is also sharp on the Galaxy S22, and even though the Xiaomi 12s is also very good, it isn't at the level of the S22. Once again, I prefer how detailed my face is on the Galaxy S22. To be honest, the 12S is doing a better job on retaining the natural colors of my face and the scene overall, but I just prefer how I look on the S22. When recording 4K videos with their main cameras, they are both very stable. 
I was very surprised to see that shadow details are much brighter with the videos on the Xiaomi 12s. The colors on that device, however, are a little flat compared to the more vibrant video of the S22. When recording with their ultra-wide cameras, the stabilization continues to be good on both of them. This time, however, it seems that Samsung is better with shadow areas and even how it reflects the lights. Even at 3x, Xiaomi is holding its own very well despite lacking a telephoto sensor. Credits to Samsung, its video is sharper, but the 12s isn't bad at all. Moving to low light and from now on every picture is taken with night mode enabled. In this first case, my face is sharp on both devices. The 12S has a cooler tone, while the S22 is warmer. Once again, both devices continue to be very good. The S22 is doing an over-sharpening on my face, but I like them both equally in this case. They are also doing a perfect job with lights on the background. When there are plenty of light sources, both are amazing with the subject, and I really can't pick a winner. In daylight the S22 was slightly better, but in low light Xiaomi matches in quality. With their main cameras in many cases they did produce almost identical results. Here I was stunned how good they both performed, and how similar they were. The colors just pop, and the shallow depth of field is perfect. In other shots I saw some differences in colors. Here for example the Xiaomi 12s is slightly darker, and has cooler colors, while the S22 is brighter and the colors are warmer, I prefer the Samsung in this case. It wouldn't however be a camera comparison if only one device wins every time. And here I prefer the picture taken with the Xiaomi 12s, since it did handle the lights much better. Overall they went back and forth, and while the 12s did better with the lights on the previous image, here the S22 has changed the results. If you look closely at the light bulb, you can see it is better preserved on Samsung. When it comes to their ultra-wide cameras, just like before they are very similar, with both devices performing really good when the light sources were plenty enough. The S22 however is much more reliable, and it always takes a great image, while the 12s sometimes struggles to capture a competing picture, like here for example, but those are rare cases since the Xiaomi 12s in many shots was just as good as the S22, and there is nothing to complain about. Overall I was really happy with the results I got in most of the shots, and I guarantee you that whichever device you'll end up choosing, you will be happy. Even when it comes at zoom in low light, the Xiaomi 12s is almost just as good despite not having a dedicated telephoto camera. It is good from Samsung to offer us this camera, which is very handy but really I was very surprised how good Xiaomi did with digital zoom. In some other samples, however, the 12s wasn't able to hold its own with the S22. And here, as you can see, the Galaxy is much sharper, and the lights are handled better. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below which one was your winner. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.